Hey guys, Lucas here, back with another video. Now today I'm going to be reviewing the Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts Whomping Willow set from the Chamber of Secrets. I already got it a long time ago, but so I thought I could review it now. It has six minifigures, so let's take a look at the first one. So our first minifigure is Harry Potter, and this time he has clo his shirt is exclusive, which I like, but his legs are also seen in the other Chamber of Secrets. I believe it's Aragog's lair set. And also Harry's hair and face print aren't exclusive, but they're for sure exclusive to Harry Potter himself. But if you take a look at the alternate face, it's the same as the one as all of the other faces, where it includes this type of Harry Potter, which is him in a shock cloak, in a shock, um, like, um, expression. But they even use that in the Hogwarts Express, so... Yeah, either way, that's it for Harry Potter. Okay, let me catch on this guy for one more second. But his hairpiece, I don't think I've ever taken a, an in-depth look at it. But you can see how detailed it is. Like, it has space to show off the scar. That's just a really cool hairpiece. That's what I like about this. It makes this movie figure even more better. But like I said, it appears in like every Harry Potter set this way. But uh, yeah, now moving on to the next movie figure. Next minifigure is Ron. He's a pretty cool figure. I like how his torso is exclusive. It's a sweater vest, which is not really a sweater vest, but it's a sweater, which is really useful. I like it. Um, his face print and his hair uh, aren't exclusive, but it's nice to get it here because uh, Ron is a pretty cool character to get a new face print from because a lot of them look weird. This time he has the freckles because in the minifigure series he doesn't have freckles. But uh, you, you can look at his alternate face back here, which has him scared. But yeah, it's a really nice face print. I like, I like Ron. So next Lego minifigure here is Hermione. Um, she's in her Hogwarts uniform and like in the Prisoner of Azkaban set this wave. She doesn't have her uniform on. Um, she looks pretty cool, but it appears in like the Great Hall and the Quidditch set, so nothing too unique there. But not a bad figure to get extras of, because I really like her hairpiece and her face print looks pretty accurate. So next minifigure is Seamus Finnegan. I read it from the box, I don't know if I pronounce it right. He has the same uniform as Hermione, but that's okay because it's nice to get Hogwarts uniforms. I kind of wish he included like I don't know, maybe a Hufflepuff uniform or a Ravenclaw uniform. His face print looks is like the one from the Lego City set, except that the it's now in the flesh, which is pretty cool. And then his hairpiece isn't new, and you can see his alternate face right there. Here is Professor Snape, and yeah, he's the same as the one from the Quidditch set, but that's okay since he's rare. I like the body part, which looks pretty cool and accurate. I also like his face print, which is also really accurate to Snape. And his wand is in black. And then you can see the alternate face. Ugh. Sorry guys, the camera fell, but you can see his alternate face, which has him pretty angry right there. Um, but either way, that is it for Snape. Okay, so next Lego minifigure is Argus Filch. Which, yeah, he's a pretty cool figure, and I believe he's exclusive. I like the lamp piece to get here as well. You can see his face print, and it's pretty roughed off clothes. So there's three builds of this set, but let's take a look at the Whomping Willow first. So the Whomping Willow build is really good. I, I, li I, I really like it a lot. Ah, sorry guys that the camera fell again. It's so freaking annoying. But yeah, I like it a lot. The only flaw is that... They don't have, they don't have enough branches and this blue part, another flaw is that they have this blue thing right here, which yeah, they could have made it in brown or make the, at the very least black, ugh, that's annoying, um, but yeah, it's still cool, these things go on ball joints, it looks pretty cool, and they can spin, and then these things, they can also spin right up to the top, oh no, actually, so weird. Oh, okay, that, I don't know why, but these two pieces are actually supposed to be here. Okay, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's going on here, but you can see a little knob right here, which 
gives it the ability to spin the thing. So yeah, if you twist it this way, it spins. And the, but I think the pro of having this with with less branches is to give the ability to hold this little car right here. But yeah, this is a really nice build for the car. And yeah, it gives it the ability to hold up the car, which is really nice. And you can still spin it, and it doesn't fall out. And you can see a little hole right here. I don't know what this is supposed to be. I, I really I really hope they make a Prisoner of Azkaban set with the Shrieking Shack, or like the cave to the Shrieking Shack or something, and you can go through there. That would look really cool. But speaking of which, let's take a look at the car. Which, don't get me wrong, I mean, this set is really great, but this car as well is really incredible. Like, I love all of the details in there, like the car plate, which is really nice. It appears on the back trunk, like, oh, this looks so awesome for a LEGO City car. I just love this, this is awesome. Like, even a full roof and full opening doors with printing. Oh man, this is so incredible. And yes, you can open it on both sides and there's on wheels. It's funny how it says the LEGO group on there. But that's just so incredible. Lego should keep making these type of cars, which are really, really nice. I mean, yeah, you could get in in Speed Champions. But one thing I really like is this part right here, which they give you a trunk. That is so awesome. An incredible Lego. G great job on this car. It's incredible. And inside, it gives you two suitcases in here, which is really nice. Yeah, but it isn't the new molded suitcase. It's actually the old suitcase. Which is kind of annoying. But the old suitcase piece is nice to get still. But yeah, it gives you the ability to put it in more tightly. I guess that's why they placed suitcases. I don't know. And you can also put it on a minifigure's hand if you want. But it's a bit hard and I don't want to damage the piece. Speaking of which, you can actually put in the minifigure. Which yeah, it kind of sucks that you can't put them side by side. And if you guys are thinking, what? It's so dark. It's actually because I have the flashlight on my phone. It kind of sucks that you can't put them side by side. It's a bit cramped. But at least you can put those two there. But it's very tight. Um, you can only sit one minifigure in here. Like if you have a minifigure with the mid legs. You can, or the regular legs. You can put them in. And you can see how the roof attaches here with it's just like white glass piece. That just goes on top of the other glass piece. Like, like there. And yeah, it fits snugly in. Okay, yeah, but it gets a bit caught at some points. But uh, yeah, it looks really nice. And I like how they use the clip pieces for side mirrors. But now let's take a look at the Hogwarts section. Which is another great part of the set. I mean, the only flaw with it is probably with the exposure of the Technic pants. Jeez, you can see my studio. And it looks pretty terrible. But yeah, I like the driveway. It's very accurate to the movie. So yeah, you can drive your minifigure, you can drive the car in, fits perfectly through, or you can drive them back out, which is really nice. That's what I like about it, it's really good. You can also just leave them there, which is pretty cool. You can see the exterior, which is pretty tall, but let's go into the interior for more details. Which, yeah, we'll probably take a look at the exterior, interior details. Yeah, ugh, my bad, we're gonna take a look at the exterior, not interior. We're gonna take a look at the exterior um, view last. So let's take a look at these from left to right. Which, yeah, the, most of the builds here are basically like Snape section. So I guess this is Snape office, I guess. So yeah, you can see, I'm pretty sure it's Snape's office because you can see a bunch of potions. And you can actually take these out very easily because it's just on a jumper. And you can see this table right here says Daily Prophet, exclusive Harry Potter, the boy who lived. And then the Wingardium Leviosa paper. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but that thing says Wingardium Leviosa. It's just really nice. And also comes with a lamp and a place to like put, I guess like where you put the quill, which is really nice as well. And I like how they use the Fez cap to put on a lamp, I guess. That's really nice. But I, I don't think these two pieces, the Wingardium Leviosa and the Daily Prophet thing, is exclusive. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that comes in, like, the Prison of Azkaban set or something like that. But let's take a look for more details. To look in for more details, you can simply just take off Snape's chair, which just goes on those four studs. And you can see, like, a bunch of potions, which 
you can take off pretty easily as well and you can see like a photo frame over there the new candle piece over there and another photo right here which i believe is a wizard or maybe him i don't know and there's also a window and a couple of lamp pieces but let's take everything back so to put everything back we just put them on like this and yeah i forgot to show you that they have a tool rack with just an axe it's in the barrel in the barrel piece which isn't new and there's also a hammer in there which yeah you can just put inside the barrel and then you can simply just put back snape's chair and the studs you, you can also put in the jumper just very easily you can also sit snape in so i'll show you that right now which yeah the table is the, the lamp actually is taking is like blocking snape's look but yeah you can see him right there you can just simply put him it's a bit tight but it's nice to put it there and yeah i really like this room section it looks really great we're gonna take a look at the exterior last so we'll take a look at the exterior of this probably first before the last and then yeah so we already took a look at the driveway so yeah we're gonna skip that and instead we're gonna move on to that very tall tower let's start from the bottom right here which just has that another one of those barrel pieces which that's okay it's nice to get it but uh yeah it's another potions rack and like i said snape is the potions teacher so this entire build is basically for him but it kind of makes sense because when they got scolded so yeah if you've seen chamber of secrets you know what that means but so uh, yeah you can see that they have like a bunch of potions there you have like a goblet right here and there's like a little pillar i guess you could say that leads all the way up to there but yeah that's okay you can see another one of that potions rack or whatever you can see that hinge piece but it doesn't move so yeah that kind of sucks but right here there's a place for a frog i don't know why they have a frog in there i don't know i guess it's for extra details but yeah, yeah. Now let's move on to the second level which yeah that bottom level has i mean not the bottom level but the middle level has the has actually has a walking space on the driveway which is really nice so you can put like many figures in there which yeah it's pretty cool so yeah you can see here it has beds which are easy removal which just goes on these things which yeah you can actually fit a minifigure on there so yeah you can put harry and ron on the beds very easily and when you take it off it looks a bit empty but there are a couple of windows and a gryffindor poster as well which looks really nice and the candle piece but now let's move on to the final level which is just this tower level which just has headwig and a quill piece but that's really it got to show you guys the top part i forgot to show you guys the top part which yeah there's like a place to put figures to like walk in which is really nice you can see that you have a lot of space to put on minifigures i think you can sit down minifigures here i don't know but it's really nice to have them to put it there you can also put them here but let's take a look at the final area which is the potions classroom which has a lot of more of the potions which is really nice um you can see like the table they have the pot pieces and gun metal gray you can see another one of the candle pieces and a green crystal piece going on the pink thing that just going on two pink studs that you can put on right there and yeah you can see uh, if you can easily take this off there's like this piece which is uh, like the three long bar thing or whatever you can easily remove the table piece and then you get to see more details you can also easily remove these potion pieces which you can see this one just a couple of the bottles and then these ones can't remove that easily this one would remove this one will remove pretty easily and then when you remove all of that you can see a couple of photo frames right there you can see one here which has a student with a bulldog and another student with a bulldog or something so yeah that is it for the interior builds now let's take a look at the exterior which there's nothing too much to it just a bunch of windows and stickers you can open it up a lot but yeah now let's take now let's just end the video so that is it for today's review guys hope you guys enjoyed if you guys want to see me do more harry potter videos leave me a comment down below and yeah this set was really good and fun to build and i really like these hogwarts based stuff i wish i got the older harry potter sets 
But uh, yeah, if you want to see more, leave me a comment down below. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.